Greetings of the day everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up infrastructure monitoring in Splunk Enterprise. So infrastructure monitoring is nothing but a fancy word for the real-time data compilation of the system and the processes, all the equipments involved in your network of your enterprise. So let's say in this video, I'm going to have an instance where my Splunk is installed, Splunk Enterprise version. And then I'm just going to send the data to be monitored in the same instance itself. So all I'm doing is just going to monitor the same instance that I'm in. So you guys can add however instances you want to one infrastructure monitoring instance. So all the video that I do will have the associated codes in the description for you guys to check out and replicate if you want to do that. So as always I say, all the codes that I'm going to use and the steps which I'm going to follow will be available in the Git repo. I will leave the link in the description of this video and this video is published. So Let's get on with the video. We have our Splunk up and running. So the first step we want to do is like click on find more apps. Close the page and then go search for Splunk. Search for Splunk app for infrastructure. The first one would be this and just click on install. So this username and password is corresponding to the Splunk.com. So the website which you use to download Splunk softwares. So let's go on with it. Okay, and then I've read this it's installed. So we just in restart later and then do the add on for this. You add on. Okay. So the add on too. Same stuff. Now what we'll do is just restart. Okay, now we'll just provide the necessary credentials. Okay. Okay, we have both. Go to settings, data inputs. HEC, click add new. I'm going to create a HTTP event collector data input in Splunk. Mention this again. Okay, so let's begin. So we're going to name it say infrastructure app for Splunk. And then and the next. And then the source step we want to select is EM metrics for yes for sai is nothing but splunk up for infrastructure so then i think it's a bit for just review okay submit just copy and paste it for which is to be used later so okay so now this is ready now what we will do is go to settings, forwarding, okay. we'll add new configuring, we're gonna add, configure a port for receiving the data which will give the default data and just save, 
okay so now what we want to do is like we have specified 997 and in the space in the place of HTTP event collector the port would be 8088 just show you click on here and just make sure that you allow it because if you can see all the tokens are disabled at the moment so just click on here enable and then if you can see the port number 8088 so just save it okay so this is enabled space is enabled now what we're going to do is whenever please do make this as a note whenever you do some stuff in gcp you're going to go to the firewall and then create a port to allow it to transfer the data or, or to receive it so we now we have created two ports and we're going to use it so we're going to create firewall rule for that so the first first one is hec 8088 which is for the http event collector so we have it on this low yes then all instances so start is okay and tcp so this is how we create okay so we want it to be lowercase okay gc create and we'll do the same for this this one is for the listening port so we'll you receive import 997 okay the same all instances zero tcp 997 create Okay, we'll just make sure we enter the right port once again. Okay, and so on. So let's go now. Let's go into the back end of the instance which your Splunk is hosted. Then we'll go to CD. But okay, we'll just go CD opt slash Splunk slash etc slash system slash local give an ls there won't be any file called as input.com so okay so we'll just create a file hano inputs dot conf enter and then we'll go to my git so this will be available in the description of this video and this video is out okay now we will do is we're gonna go there and paste it so if you guys can see here IAS so, so this is the HTTP name of the data input which I created so if let's say you are creating a uh, HTTP even character when you did you might have had another name please do change these two so now in the place of your token you're just gonna go control A control C copy it come back I'm just gonna okay okay I'm just, just gonna paste it then we're going to do control x y save it do cd cd slash opt slash splunk slash bin and we're just going to give a restart just to be in the safe side might take some time to be in the safer side always whenever you make a major change just always be sure to restart it so that gets reflected on so now we'll go and admin then password okay let's just go in okay close now we'll go to apps we'll go to splunk app for infrastructure all right Okay, we're gonna go add entities. Then we're gonna go 
collect the the monitoring machine. So this is our monitoring machine itself. So I'm going to just copy this, paste it here. We don't want the HTTP. No. Okay, and then the HEC port is as they mentioned 8088. Swing port is as always 9997. Okay, and then everything looks good. Okay, so this must be there. Okay, okay, this is all I get it. So okay, this uh, yeah, all we have to do is like copy this to the clipboard. Then go back to the back end. We are in root, so you have to be in a root in order to okay. It's not copied yet. Let's just go back again. In fill in inputs with proper values. Oh, HEC token. Oh, my God. Let's see. It will be. Okay. Yes, this is good. Okay. Copied. Go back. Screen exported. Starting in USL folder in DBN. Will fail to install in your folder. Okay, for you want universal folder to install it. What we'll do is we'll just go back, just give a CD itself. So, what we'll do is we'll go back. It seems like the problem is with we don't we want to install universal folder. Let's just check for that. Just the case, we just do it anyway. Okay, so we'll have you know support. go on about doing this okay we have it now just check cd opt slash sprung f and tab okay we have it everything is good now we'll just do the same step export it okay so I believe we have to have a universal forwarder so just do install that if you don't know how to install that I'll just give the link in the description of this video and I'll also add as, as an end element so now that is being done so all you have to do is like you have to look up here whether that new entity is popped up let's do a refresh anyway might like it says it might take up to five minutes if it's so long I'll just Edit the edit this part of the video so you don't have to wait. This is perfectly going well. It's not trouble here. Okay, in fact, everything's going great. Okay, 
guess you don't have to slid. Still, you now see my entity is connected, getting connected here. Until then, we'll just be waiting. Raj, you have got one entity incoming so as you can see it says Raj, you, you got one incoming entity so I'll just click take a look now so now if you can see this is our instance so all we, have, all we can do is just click on it so now we can see a monitoring of your infrastructure so you can see here go and see analysis of that infrastructure too so this is nothing but an infrastructure monitoring i mean a compilation of real-time data of the system and the processes that you want to monitor so this is our view monitor infrastructure in splunk so catch you in another one bye bye everyone